have to drop this stream like almost exactly at the two hour mark. I hope that's all right with you. Um, there's a couple more that I want to play. I'm gonna have to like start being a little bit more choosy. This is one that like multiple people recommended, so I'm gonna play it. It's called Bubble Tanks. Bring down the music, bring up the game. There we go. How are you guys doing? I mean, emulators were a thing for me as well, but this was so much easier. This is Bubble Tanks 1. I don't know what this is. This was made in uh, 2007, so this would have been around the time that I was playing these. WASD to move, mouse to shoot, move outside of this bubble too. You have jumped to a new bubble field. Destroy the bubble tanks, drop bubbles. Oh, I see. Gotcha. This is a neat idea. A lot of these games were like this. Like, so far the fuck out there. Like, indie games do this now, but like... So many Flash games were just based around like a neat mechanic. More so than like a coherent plot or whatever. A lot of it was like, you know, 90s, 2000s, like, edgelord, like, trench coat, matrix, ninja... Nothing personal, kid. Edgelord shit, but I don't know if edge or uh, if any games now are shit, but they're just like a different breed than they were. I'm not trying to be like nostalgic to like diss on what's around now, but can I go back to that last circle that explained the rules? Any chance on you playing Madness Nexus? So, how does this go? You touched my hand. I'm so randy now. Meat and fuck. Yeah, that sounds like a meat and fuck thing. I, I read the end of it, and I knew it was going to be a meat and fuck thing. So I just read it however the fuck I felt like, and figured that it would be great. Can't we just watch all of Madness Combat instead? You should definitely, if any of these look good, go look them up. Go look up the author who did it, and look over all their shit. Because, like, these are amazing. This doesn't seem like it's terribly hard, I'll be honest with you. Um, I probably wouldn't have blamed this, but I probably would have given this, like, a, a four. There were a couple people that I just hated because they were successful. Because I was a shitty-ass kid. I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. And I assumed that all of them were much older than me. Like, I assumed people like Ego Raptor were like 20 already. And that's why their art was good and stuff. And it was like, no, he's just actually dedicated to doing his shit rather than me, where I'm just not. So the game's actually hard and I. This is a neat idea. There's- Oh, I know exactly who you mean, Mafa. There's only one person. There's only one female actress. And all of the people who needed, like, a, an artist or a, a voice actress always got her. And that meant that every cool chick, every girl that needed saving, was always the same chick. Rena chan I wonder what happened to her. Give me a sec. American voice actress. She's 31 years old and um Oh, here we go. I found her uh her Newgrounds page. She's apparently still doing it. She voiced 2B. Holy fuck. God damn. Oh, the scissor kid. Oh my god, these games look like ass. Latest favorite games, latest games. Uh, 
recent medals. Let me look in the games. Who is 2B? 2B from Nier Automata. Punkomatic? Hunters. Okay, we're gonna this is this is gonna be bad and kind of cringy. Uh I can tell you right off the bat. But like this girl's voice was in everything, if it's the same chick I think it is. I don't think this is what is my account set as? Am I set as an adult? Can I be a child? This is rated E, so it should be fine. Okay. Oh, it's a game. Uh, when was this from? This was from 2011. MS Paint Peak shit here. All right. There we go. Let's try it. Uh, I, I just, I want to progress to the story. Ooh. Hey, wake up. You're on duty, you know. Ooh, what do you want? There's a report of a break in That's the her. cargo ship in your area. You're closest, so go check it out. It's probably just a faulty alarm. Nothing to worry about. You sure this is a good game? I'm not. Just, I remember her voice so fucking well. She was in everything. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, unfortunately. Okay, then. Let's go oh my god, no, we're not doing this. Press the arrow keys. Uh, this one, whatever this is. Oh. Oh, hey. Well, there you go. This is now available on Steam, and it's an actually, like, finished, polished-out game now, rather than just being whatever. It's fancy pants. Let me get a better screen region than that. If we're going to be playing this game, we need a better screen region. Like I said, I... Th yeah, Mafia did send me this one. Um, a lot of people requested it, though. And Mafia actually, Mafia actually sent me the, um, the thing, the actual, like, Steam game. All right, window capture, bop, and bop, and then just, okay. Sorry, give me a second to, to make this look pretty for y'all. It's much better. There we go. And then transform, fit to screen. There we go. That's nice and good. Fancy Pants was a fucking killer game when it came out. Uh, it was... It came out in, let's see, 2006. 2009, according to this. It might have gotten a couple of updates since then. But according to this, it says 2006. How's Herman doing? He's doing good. He's just locked up in the other room. Uh, S key to jump. Such a cool game. Just really well animated, really well coded. Very Rayman-esque in a lot of ways. A little bit floaty controls-wise, but like... Really solid animation. Like, when you saw something that had this level of animation quality, you knew you were getting, like, a good game. Because most of the time it was, like, MS Paint. It was very similar to that last one we played. But... What year was it made? Uh, it says 2009, but the entry on the website says 2006. This is also, like I said, it's a thing on um, on Steam now, too. Ah, oh, fuck. Someone recommended, like, um, Homestar Runner games, but I tried showing Homestar Runner to Tilda, 
and she just she didn't have the same childhood in a lot of ways that I did. She watched a lot of different stuff and wasn't really on, you know, the internet as much as I was and playing as many video games as I did. So it didn't really register. And it's one of those awkward moments when you've realized that you've committed to watching something for like 15 minutes and it's not actually as good as you remember. Do you know what I remember? You know what I mean? Homestar Runner was a good thing. Uh, I think they went on to make Yo Gabba Gabba. Homestar Runner is really weird if you don't know the jokes. That's true. Oh, what the fuck? Homestar is the best character. Homestar is a great character. I had a friend who did, like, a perfect Homestar um, impersonation. A little bit of Strong Bad as well. I can't do it. Um, didn't they make a board game recently? Um, there's some guy I started following on live stream way back in the day that just did a really good job impersonating Strong Bad. There's no turning up the game's music. Uh, it should be fairly loud. I'll fix it in post if you guys can't hear it now, but... Um, you should be able to hear it now, right? They're making a Trogdor board game. Tango Squad! Fucking hell. They're putting all their videos on, uh, YouTube. Kind of like takes some of the like secret clicky bit areas out of it, but you know. Peasant's Quest. You see that little like, I'm gonna go back and show that, hold on. Look at that, look at his hair as he's on this moving platform. It's just like a little bit of attention to detail. It's so good. Ever played the Negotiator series? I believe I have. I guess that was a bonus area. I don't know how this was animated. It was just really well done. Even by today's standards of like um, graphics, like it's a little bit dated as far as like the aesthetic. But, like, the actual, like, quality of the, the... It almost looks rotoscoped, but, I mean, it's, like, obviously a, um... <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't mean to go up. Hold on, I need to go back in there. Oh yeah, if you land on your head, you're hurt. Oh. And those are all references to different Flash games. There was, there was a nice thing about like the Flash game community was that like, it seemed like it really liked itself. Like, the other people seemed to, like, really be into, like, helping each other out. Now, that may not be true, but it just seems like the level of camaraderie that was there was just, like... Excluding stuff like, I don't know, the clock crew and stuff like that. Like, it seemed like they were actively trying to, to work together a lot of the time. I don't know what I get for getting those last two. Oh, shit. Hold on. The clock crew, right? Strawberry clock king of the portal. Looks like an extra life.
You get to be proud of yourself. I think that's all it is, yeah. All right, well, that knocked me in the right direction of where I needed to go, so we're good. I don't really need extra lives as long as I just don't die, right? Sick backflips. All the way. Clock crew. I don't know if I can play any of that. I'm not sure if that's, like, okay for me to, like, play. Beware angry penguin. That was the one world that was here. <sighs> it's cool. It's very cool. No, no. Clock crew, the original shit posters. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain any clock crew stuff without playing it, but I don't think I can. I have a feeling that I'd get banned on Twitch for playing a lot of their stuff. Um, world 2, will it let me? Oh, now it brought me to a different thing. Let's see if it worked. How would you how would you explain Clock Crew to someone who hasn't seen it? The Lock was it Lock Legion? I never really paid attention to them because Clock Crew was the original. And they usually they had like their little fights with the other like the lot guys. I forget what their names were, but yeah. <sighs> Lock Legion sounds vaguely right. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Uh I'm going to I'm going to put up a BRB and then mute everything but me. Um, and I'm going to find one real quick. Okay. I'm going to find one and see if we can listen to it. Can you guys hear the audio anymore? Should be on right now. You hear that? Clock crew. The original... All right. That one, Strawberry Clock by... Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Clock Crew, the original. The pen ultimate. B. Made by Strawberry Clock. And the thing is, like, this, this was it. This is what caused people... To be so fucking ape shit. And then... Like, it, it made all of this. Like, people making all of these things. Because they had, like, this one guy whose name was, like, the fucking Strawberry Clock. And he's got... I want to get his voice. I can't play any of these. Uh, all right. Do we have one? This one is rated... Oh, that one's for 9-11. That's probably pretty... Yeah, this is this is kind of the issue. But yeah, they, they just use this one robotic voice. I can't do M-rated. The portal is not... Okay, this is probably fine. Probably. The fight amongst these fuckers was, like, the biggest fucking thing in, like, early 2000s. Well, well, well. It looks like you have fallen right into my trap, Mr. Bond. 
I came here for the key. This was it. This was my fucking childhood right here. Let them kill him. Time to die, Mr. Bond. You underestimate who you are dealing with. Oh, right, that's copyright claimed, isn't it? All right, I'm going to switch over to something else now because that's definitely going to get copyright claimed. Well done. I am concerned about the key to the portal. It seemed too easy to get the key. It was almost as though Kyrwondo wanted me to get... It's fucking... <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, we got Learn to Fly here. This is not one that I played. I don't remember this one, but some of y'all remembered it because it was one of the ones that y'all like most requested out of this entire fucking bunch. So, um... Here we go. Learn to fly. See what this is. Learn to fly is on cool math games. It's like ancient dank memes. <sighs> also, that Bond theme was from like the 2000s Bond. That was, uh, I guess that was The World Is Not Enough. The old Google logo. Screen regions fucked, sorry. All right, wait until you uh, reach the jump, use the A, uh, right? And then, cool. Okay, that was pretty bad. Oh, but I can get upgrades. <laughs> Skip gameplay, let's, let's, let's get this shit going. Acceleration, there we go. All right, let's go. The Tankman, yes. Then you'll love fucking old school Flash games, because that was all of the... They were all like this. Feel like an old man. I mean, the original Angry Birds was just a Flash game that was like... If I recall correctly, it was like a Japanese uh, Flash game. And they changed it from being like this, like you're wrecking a person's house to being like the thing it is now. I remember playing that way back in the day. And then there was another one for, God, what was the one where you had to throw a guy? All right. Gliding allows you to... Make uh, each has a red zone above your speed drops faster. Gliding moments of extra resistance. Okay. I have not played Interactive Buddy yet, no. Alright. Let's get some, uh, let's get a little bit less wind resistance. Should be good. That sounds right. I mean, like, when I transferred over to, like, 4chan, I did play a lot on F. So a lot of those games were, like, fermented in my memory as well. And a lot of the memes as well. That was awful.
fucking dose, daily dose, and all right. Well, I feel like this is yeah. F was wild. Like it has tagging, but like not not good enough ones. Not good enough tagging that you could actually, like, know what you were going to get into. Because sometimes people were just like, they'd just put out a meme and they'd spell it using it. And then you'd have to, like, skip certain days, like Thursday and um, Catterday. Those were not a great thing. Um... Interactive buddy, I think we're gonna have to do some interactive buddy. We have to get to sorry, I'm a sucker for these kind of games. That was pretty good. There we go. All the achievements for that one. Catterday was just all of the stuff was cat related. Okay. Gonna go to day 10, then I'll stop. But this little penguin, he's gonna fucking do this shit. Later, Snow Pixies. Get a rocket? That should help, yeah. All right, let's go. All right, how do I use the rocket? Space for the extra boost. All right. Oh, I just killed all my speed. Shit. <sighs> anyway, that's this game. This is cute. I would have probably spent at least an hour on this. Um, let's play a couple that I remember. How about uh, Toss the Turtle? It's kind of a similar game if I remember. This is one of those ones that like they just brought out every fucking holiday. To, like, be in the sidebars and be like, Oh, you guys remember Toss the Turtle in the tank bin? <laughs> Move the cannon with the mouse. Left click and hold down. Use Wazda to control in the air. I needed to have a better angle than what I had. But I'm getting some, like, trick jumps off of it, so... <sighs> the gore levels, too. How about we go, like... There we go. That should be pretty good right there. The game's a bit too cropped. Yeah, it is. Hold on. I'll fix it. Give me a sec. When did this game come out as well? Sorry, I gotta check that on all these. This is a 2009 game. So I guess I was still playing Flash games when I was like... 
Well, nine years ago, so I was 21. Steam was very much a thing. So there's no reason that I was playing these. It's probably just broke. I made this, uh game available on mobile now and guns uh, missed some of that Gonzo even made games like this and sold it in stores there we go castle crashers I never got into castle crashers dad and me that was another one All right, I need to buy something from the shop. All right, let's get something. Rocket pack. Guns. How much money do I have? 2,000? Okay, I don't have enough for that. All right. All right, cool. Automatic. Let's go. Where do I recognize this music from? Is this from something outside of this? Because it's, like, way too well orchestrated. Alien Hominid? Oh, fuck. We gotta play that, don't we? Pico's school. Yeah, Pico's school was awful though. The art style was gross. This was this is just what it looked like, man. Play Don't Escape. I gotta play um God, there's a bunch that I need to play. Alright, we should probably call this one once I get down to the grounds. And got a pretty good thing going. But a, yeah, a lot of them were uh upgrade fests, I guess. Fuck yeah, I love these games though. The room escape games? Oh, fuck yeah. I've played Castle Crashers. I just didn't care for it. I own it on Steam. I just didn't really like it as much. The impossible quiz? Didn't we do that one first? Feel like we did. The ride never ends. We've gone 16,000 feet, almost 17. How's the turtle still alive? I doubt that he is. I think it's just a corpse moving constantly. The scary maze game, yeah. I like jump scared myself with that because I didn't know that it was like a prank. I just played it. Jesus Christ, just let me die! You have to burn the rope? Oh my god. There was the bomb just going off, throwing me into the air, and then... Alright, so let's, uh, let's, um... I spelled it without the O. Let's see if it comes out. Okay, yeah. You have to burn the rope. There it is.
Tilda just texted me saying that this place that she applied for sent her an email and was like, I don't know yet. Which is great. That's what you want to hear. Yeah, we don't know yet. Let me get the screen region right, because this is just... This is a neat game. There's a boss at the end of this tunnel. You can't hurt him with your weapons. To kill him, you have to burn the rope above. Have fun. I'm just stalling so that way the music can start because it's fucking amazing. Oh. Alright, I think that's the whole loop, the music, and then it goes on to the rest of the song when you actually beat him. I think it just loops, loops from here on out. Oh, okay. It's not a lot to talk about, but it's, it was good. I wonder if it does anything different if you go a second time through. I actually never checked to see, but people in chat are saying to do it. Let's see if we can speed run it this time instead of fucking it up. See what else in that's one we got to play so this one is on its own website i don't remember if it was ever on new grounds but it was one that i downloaded did i ever play achievement unlocked i think i did that one already that's the one with the elephant right <sighs> all right there we go and then there's that and then we shrink it down bring it over Bring it over, shrink it in, shrink it ink, shrink.
Shrinky Donk. And transform. Fit the screen. There we go. All right. I don't know. I'm always so negative with the, the stuff that I do, and it's just nice to do one that's like, yay, good games. You know? Left, right, and jump. Okay, gotcha. So quiet. So the deal with this was that you could go off the walls and do like all those wall jumps and wall kicks and shit. Even now the controls feel funky, but I remember that being a thing back in the day. Anamorphous Plus? I don't remember that one. Collect the gold, keep the ninja alive. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. And then little chunks blow up more stuff. Yeah, it feels a little chunky now. Shift is pretty good as well. It takes a bit to get going, but yeah, I remember this one. Just jump into the explosion. All right, there we go. Let's play another one. Um, Newgrounds Rumble. And we haven't done the impossible quiz yet. So we're going to have to do that. God, I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all day, aren't I? It's all right. All right. There we go. Cool. I think my computer is pretty leet by uh, 2007 standards. Uh, my name is going to be Rev. So these were all the different characters that were like a thing. So these were all, oh my god, fucking salad fingers. I follow them on Twitter now. So the guy from Fancy Pants, we got the guy from Madness, we got Alien from Alien Hominid, we got the Tank Guys, we got Solid Fingers, which we can't watch right now, but we could probably watch some of those, but I don't want that guy, like, getting copyright playing. But, yeah, if you, I was a little bit of a Solid Fingers kind of kid. Like, I showed it to my friends, and they were like, the fuck is this, man? I'm like, he likes Rusty Spoons. He likes Rusty Spoons. This is like a collab game. All right, so Solid Fingers isn't particularly aware that he's got a lot of feel. Okay, incredible rage, good damage, very slow, low health. That's fine. Who do you fucking main? I main Solid Fingers. I don't know what the controls are. asshole. I remember that guy. I never really got into those games. Oh, Solid Fingers people and tr Happy Tree Friends people. I couldn't get into Happy Tree Friends. But this is essentially Smash Brothers. But with Newgrounds characters. I've only figured out what light punch is, so I don't really know what to do from here. Okay, we're gonna do something else. Line Rider. Why does that sound familiar? Uh, the real Line Rider, Line Rider. I don't think it'd be called the le real line rider, would it? And this one has... D 
decent chunk of points. I bet it's this one. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Just, oh, I just cringed at how bad I was as a kid. Okay, so there was this contest, right? There was this contest, and it was like, a make a uh, electronic song uh, for Christmas. It was a Christmas Newgrounds thing, right? And I was like, I can make music. I got Fruity Loops, right? So I fucking... I put together something, and I will tell you right now, it was shit. It was a shit song, but I believed in it. I believed I had a legitimate good chance at winning. Did I? No. And so then I sat down, and they were doing a little podcast-like thing of all the different songs that were submitted. And they start at the first one. They're like, okay, so last last step, or uh, last one. We're, or last place, I should say. Last place. I'm not going to play it because we'd have to go find it. Uh, last place goes to this song. And then it was my fucking song. And they played it in its entirety. It it had a beat, but it was like the melody was off sync to the beat. So it was so fucking bad. And my friend, I, I stopped watching immediately after they started playing it. Because I knew it. I knew that song. Immediately. And, uh, so my friends are like, oh, you know, you know, I listened to the rest of it and, and it was clear he was just really drunk. That's just the whole reason that he was, he was being so mean about it. I was like, okay. I doubt that that was actually true. Um, but my friends were looking out for me all the same. And that's all that really matters about that story. Um, Lesson to be learned. Don't write shitty songs and expect them to be good. Speaking of shitty songs, go listen to uh, all of the shitty songs that I've written for my fucking art channel. So that way I don't have to worry about copyright claims because I own all of the content. Anyway, with a pencil... Oh, fuck, I do remember this one. Alright, so I draw a line and then I press play and then he goes. So where is he starting? Uh, all right, go. Play. Oh, shit. It's not going to work, is it? Okay. Okay. I mean, I was going under a different moniker at the time. Oh, shit, that was too fast. He's dead. Okay. Wasn't there one that was, like, pixel-based? Alright, what about, like, just... Green is for decorations? Oh. Well, this is going to be bad. All right, go. <laughs> All right, great. Good start. Good start. We'll make one that works. All right, go. I don't recall if this had a musical element. I think people just made music to go along with it. The Pokemon dude, thank you for the the sub. And then I can maybe like do a thing where I go like this, right? And can I erase just like a little bit? Oh, neat. All right. Let's see if that works, and then we'll add more. Oh shit, that didn't work at all. All right, that initial slope has to be like a lot less treacherous than that. It's got to be like more like that. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, that's still that's still really bad. All right. How about like this? There we go. It's good. Oh, okay. Well, we got something to work with now. We uh we replace this with that. And then we can like There we go. 
We're making it work. We're making it happen. Oh. 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 Look. <laughs> He's so upset looking. <sighs> All right. Any other good ones that I need to do, like, right now? Impossible Quiz is one that I keep getting people saying, hey, we need to look at. Oh, God. Um, let's, let's do this one. Okay, and... Fix this up just a bit. I suggest you have a full dedicated stream to the impossible quiz. Well, well, nah. We can do just like one or two levels of it. I don't think we're going to do a full thing of it. And then we need to do the you only live once thing. Because I remember that one being really good. Be careful with the song. Oh, is that going to be an issue? Hmm. I'm going to have to, like, go back and sweep this, definitely, for some copyright shit. Alright, well, should be okay for now. Um, the VOD on Twitch is probably going to get muted. But I will edit it and fix it up in post. I mean, it's already going to get muted because of the James Bond theme. <laughs> Alright. How many holes in a polo? Uh, four. Can a matchbox? Um, okay. Turn off the music. There we go. There's the VOD. Alright, can a matchbox? Uh, but a tin can. Uh, answer this question backwards. Uh, okay. Click the answer. Uh, put your mouse cursor here. Now, don't touch the blue. Onion. Uh, divided uh, shallots? The answer to is really big. Okay. Oh, really? Answer is really big. How many holes in a polo shirt? Um... is really big it's not really big and it's not answer okay four tin can okay um, onion shallots answer is really big it's got to be elephant search What was the answer to two? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And I need to turn off the thing every time. It's okay if the VOD gets... Uh, I'm going to um, mute it in post, so it should be fine. All right. So what was the answer to number two? Uh, that one. I don't remember. Okay. God damn. I'm just going to turn off the music so you guys can't hear it. All right. How many fork... But a tin can. Bottom left one. Um... Backwards, okay, click the answer, click here, and then you go around. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I just right-click to cheat. Uh, shallots, uh, elephant, search, and it's right there. It's, no, it was this one. Wait, what was the answer to question two? What? Choose food. I don't know why that was the answer. I don't know the answer to the last, the last one on why that was right. Um, choose food. Oh, choose food. All right. What follows December 2nd? December 3rd? Question mark? How many holes in Apollo? Four. Tin can. 
Okay. Answer. I'm just going to go with the right click solution. It's a lot easier. Elephants. Search. That. And then. I'm sorry. What was it? It was this one. Okay. Choose food. Uh, follow. Okay. And I can skip ones now. Um, it wasn't the question mark. It was. Third. In. I don't know why. Second. Click the smallest. Okay, that's the obvious answer, so it's not right. There it is. Uh, what sound does a bell make? Oh my god. Okay. Can you put a bucket to me? What can you put in a bucket to make it lighter? A hole. Torch, candle, laughter. I'm going to go with the hole. Fuck. I forget every single fucking time what it is. I have to, like, think about it. It's December 3rd? No, it's in. And then the smallest one. I kind of remember this. Okay, so... Make it lighter. Torch, maybe? Alright. Nini and Way. No skipping. <sighs> Nay, Winnie. Horse. It's not H, right? It's not horse. Because it, I mean, horse isn't right. Where is the R? Okay. What is the seventh letter of the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G? I remember this fucking thing. I remember this fucker. What am I doing? What is the seventh letter of the alphabet? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? How many how many fucking levels are there to this? Oh, this is now available on the app store. See that's what I'm saying. A lot of these got like added. Like people like these people the Oh, the D as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's H. See, this game kind of fucks with you because you're just like, okay. But, uh... It's not actually... Walrus is lol random. It'd be 17, but 17 isn't an answer here. Oh, the number of the question. Okay. Stop. Hammer time. Uh, color in the correct order. How do I know what the correct color is? I don't know who Boggy is. Blue, orange, green, green, yellow. Deal or no deal? Is this a logic thing or is it like a, um,
Why was it seal? Okay. Choice is yours. One life, minus one life, escape, plus one skip. Uh... Is this a trick that if I pick... Yeah. God damn it. Okay. I don't know why in is the answer to that. Okay. Seventh layer of the alphabet is H, apparently 17. Hammer time. Blue, orange, green, green, yellow. Um... Second letter after December. Oh, okay. Deal or no deal. Seal. Why is it seal? Watch carefully. Okay. It's it's going to be that one every time. So, the choice is yours. Escape, skip. Seal the deal. Oh. The fuck? The fuck with this game, man? Skip, right, because it gives me a free skip and then takes it. Uh, save changes to Entitled. Brand. Yes, no, cancel. Yes, no, cancel. Brand. What the fuck does this mean? Brand? Sorry, no skipping. Oh, uh, oh shit. All right. I have to write this all down, don't I? God damn it. Sticky notes. All right. This one makes, yeah, there's, there's like, B H E B C the V, okay. Is V in two different ones? No, it's just in that one. And then uh does that go before or after the K? That goes in between the C and the, like, there. And then click the something. Click the lives. Okay. Uh, how would you kill a werewolf? Um... Uh, Shoe polish, black pudding. Oh, yeah, I guess rolling over it faster would have been easier. Um, let's see. Black pudding would be... Oh, black po shoe polish has silver in it? Does? What the fuck? Which one of these place names doesn't exist? Bitchfield. Arcy face. Twat Bud Stiltson, Brown Willie, Germans Week, Bitchfield, Arcy Face, Blubber Houses. I've. Okay. Thanks to the number of questions. Oh, fuck. We're on, um. Let's say 26 or 28. We're on 28, apparently. Or wait, no, we're on 27. What the fuck? Go to 28. There we go. Gotcha. All right. What is this? Um, ballet bun cruel. 
Fairy cake. <sighs> the fuck? It's a cupcake, but it's doing a bun dance. Oh, that's a pun. All right, what flavor is cardboard? Uh, talc, honey, pork scratchings, egg mayonnaise. Egg man, why? Chat seems to know the answers to all of these. A egg mayonnaise. Why would it be egg mayonnaise? The fuck? What? They've got the walkthrough up. Okay, put the mouse here. No, don't touch the green. All right. Okay. What are the main ingredients in shampoo? Baby cham and human fasces. Rocks and sausage. Cats and whelks. Cricket crap. What? You Google the walkthrough, I guess. Cam and poo. Oh, you don't need the audio. Sorry. I turned it off so that way I could, you know, not get copyright claimed. So I'm going to keep that off, actually. Cam poo. Oh. Cam poo. How many letters are in his hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's too obvious. It can't just... How many letters are in his hand? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is another one of those, like, look at the words. In his hand. Not this. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Elephants don't like mice. What do you want me to interact with here? I'm afraid to click anything because I'm out of lives. Elephants don't like mice. Oh, it's the fucking mouse itself. Fucking, I'm dumb. What did it say? All right, what do you call a wingless fly? A walk. What do you, uh, can you get this question wrong? Uh, uh, no. Uh, Mary Rose sat on a pen. Rose sat on a pin. Mary Rose. How is this a meme? Why is it? Yeah. Oh, really? Because it's fucking 2007. That's why. Oh, really? Sh Mary Rose. Oh, she stood up. Oh, fucking dumb. There's no music. Um, He's just doing that. Cylindrical Adventures, right here, right now. Cough Drops. It is a cylinder. It's not a cough. What? 
what? Sexy Bill, Afro, Wing, Breast, Lolol, Bony Orange, Leg, Dirty Rectum, Magnificent Tail. Can I cheat by pressing tab? I can't. All right. Move my mouse around a bit. Let's see what. Let's visit this. Oh, it's just legitimately some pictures of a fucking. It's a. Okay. Well, there you go. Evil Eye. Damn it. Okay, we're not doing that again. Um, this one was neat because um, back in the day, I didn't know how to clear my cash. And I was trying to impress this girl. And uh, I showed her this back in uh, good old 2009. And um, yeah. Oh. Stupid old lizard. I'll save her sooner than you can say the Intel i7 is awesome. Who is, uh, who's credited for the voice for that shit? Excuse me. Thank you. So, just so you know, you literally have one life, and then, unless if you refresh it, you're not coming back. I beefed it, and jumped directly into the fucking pit. This first pit. And, um, she was not impressed. In a, a twist of fate that may shock some of you, it's not impressive to fuck up a fucking game like this. I'm going to try and not do that today. I'm going to fix the screen region. We're going to get all fancy. And then we're going to beat this fucker. Finally. So that way I can prove to pass me that I'm not a chump. That I'm the opposite of a fucking chump. That I can pick up women. I'll let my wife, almost wife, know that I can do this. Okay. Trying to impress a girl via a flash game was your first mistake. It was indeed. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, good. That was close. I didn't die to the first pit. I'm better. I'm stronger than I was. I think I... N this might be as far as I've ever gotten. I'm gonna beat it. Nothing can fucking stop me. Ah, uh, okay. We got this. We got this. Screen region's a little high. Oh, I need to fix it. There we go. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, there she is. Yes, hello. Can you please send an ambulance? Uh, I don't know the address, but I'm in Sir Giant Pink Lizard's castle. Yeah, the last stage in World 5. <sighs> Damn. 
Well, there was nothing we could have done. The fall broke his neck. He probably died as soon as he hit the ground. Right. Local man Jermaine Nilsson was found dead today in the castle residence of Sir Giant Pink Lizard. Jermaine, a 28-year-old forester from Kent, is believed to have been visiting the castle on a vigilante rescue mission to save a female acquaintance. Sir Giant Pink Lizard himself has refused to make any comments. Detective Inspector Thomas of the Kent County Constabulary has declined to comment on whether they have any immediate suspects or if the murder is indeed related to the missing persons case, but stressed the importance of contacting the police instead of attempting to take the law into your own hands. And now, the weather. Sir Giant Pink Lizard, you're under arrest. As the owner of this boss-level castle, it's your obligation to make sure all platforms are fully accessible to disabled people. He was trespassing, a and I'm subletting that stage to one of my evil lackeys. It's still your responsibility. You're coming with me back to the station. It's so fucking good. I... There was a charm to this bullshit. And this is it for the rest of the time, unless if I clear my cash. Are those boobs? No, it's a monkey. It's not boobs. And then you, uh, refresh it. All right, well, I I probably ought to call it there because Herman needs to get out. But let me show you guys the art for today. Um, we might have to come back to this. If I have some time this week, I will try and come back and I'll play a couple more that we missed. But I hope you enjoy this at least. I mean, they just buried him in that other dude's castle, which is fucking weird. But um, yeah. All right. Looks like there's a couple of arts here. Let's look over them. Herman, uh, Herman is my kitten. He needs to be let out. Um, I put him up in, uh, the bedroom, so that way he could be nice and screamy and hit there if he wanted. He, he normally just sleeps through most of the stream, but, um, well, send me a link to it and I'll check it out. Um, but this first one is from Arctic Aeratic. Ar let me give you a screen region so you can actually see what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, Flash Games? No. Game Boro. There we go. All right, cool. Neat. All right, got one set up. Transition. There we go. I'm really sorry to hear that, Exterminator. We had to go through that fairly recently as well. Um, and so, um, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, here's some art by Arctic Auric. Um, and it's of all Divine Sauce streamers and associated acts. You got like uh, fucking Desert P and Gear and Southbird and you know, all the Vine Sauce streamers along the outside. I believe that's Vappy Vap, I want to say. Here's Hootie and KY. It's cute. Thank you. And we got this one by Nato Potato, which is actually um, just a, a Unity game. Uh, this is just showing us what it looks like, but it's a Rubik's Cube, which I will never play or solve because I suck and hate uh, Rubik's Cubes, but um, we we still we still have uh, that go on, Exterminator, so don't, don't feel bad about it, you know, but uh, yeah, this is neat. I fucking suck at these, though. A two by two might be easier for me. Maybe I'm like that smart. Can I get like a one by one Rubik's cube where it's just like the sides you just flip it around and then it's done? Like I think that's just a dice. Anyway, and then we got this one from Zachary Rabbit or Ribbit. Uh, drawing once every stream is good practice. So here's my tiny rev on a chair because the first Flash Games aesthetic day uh, really suck with me. Which one was it? Which one did we do? Click play. Ah, right. Okay. Well, there you go. The 
one by one cube. It's impossible. I think I can solve it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go. Do you mean a slide puzzle? No, I mean literally just a block, a cube. Um, but that's where I'm gonna call it for today. I hope you enjoyed this stream. It's a little bit different than what we normally do. You guys were on screen there for a minute. Um, it's different than the normal flash games I do. I hope you enjoyed the little trip down memory lane. We'll probably do this again. Um, and we can, we can have some fun doing some more. I don't know. Um, good flash games are more common than I remember. And I had a great time and it looks like y'all did too. So that's good. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Who's live? Is anyone live? Anyone live on Vine Sauce? Did you hear him? It looks like uh, Fred is playing WoW. It just got a new update, so I'm going to host him. I'll see you guys later. Bye.